Magnuson is an interesting creature. Um, he's a uh, widely renowned uh, sort of triple A bodyguard and has won, probably won best bodyguard of the year many times uh, in the past. And, uh, but he's also got a, a weird fetish for cutting people's eyes out as well, it's, <laughs> which is a, an interesting factor. Um, but yeah, he's, he's sort of someone that Bryce sort of looks up to, I suppose, in the bodyguard, bodyguard world. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's no easy feat, there's no easy shoes to fill. <laughs> I would like to be as tough as Magnuson. Magnuson doesn't seem to be phased by anything. I think Magnuson is probably some kind of functioning psychopath, really, underneath it all. Um, what I love about him is he's, he, he tries to be incredibly charming with it all the time and, and very English about the whole thing. Um, and actually, he's quite, <laughs> quite ruthless. But uh, he, it's almost this thing where he'd rather not hurt your feelings, but he'll punch you in the face. <laughs> Magnuson is a lot of the things that he wished that Bryce was, yeah. Um, he's uh, incredibly professional and successful and all those things that I think Bryce wishes he was and particularly what Bryce Senior maybe thinks uh, he should have been or should have given birth to, shall we say. But uh, yeah, maybe Magnuson is filling those shoes. Brian and Sam, they have this chemistry because they're both very relaxed on set, you know, and they're both at the top of the game in what they do, you know, and they're, they're both very witty people offset as well you know in terms of what they bring naturally so you put that together on set in, in the right characters and they seem to have this really good blend of a cocktail that sort of just bounces off each other it's, it's actually really good to watch as an actor as well to be able to see what they do you know it's very funny he's a great storyteller pat actually he's uh, he understands story very well and he understands what how to get an audience to root for characters i think and what are the little glitches and stuff in in characters that will make an audience root for them so um he, he's just very good at entertaining an audience i think that's the biggest thing with pat he just knows how to how to sculpt that <laughs>